This is everything I am packing for my three week trip to Europe. It's in winter, so I have a lot more stuff and it's a lot more bulky than I usually pack. So I will definitely not even be trying to do a carry on for this trip. So let's go through everything starting with accessories. So two pairs of gloves, one I make sure that they're light enough that I can jog with them and then one that um, are better for wind resistance. Two scarves. I make sure my scarves are always really big and thick and tightly woven for the most warmth. Earmuffs. Two hats. Always get really thick ones again. That'll super warm. I also bring one to two, I guess like headbands, ear warmers that I can also wear for jogging. These are lifesavers. So these are actually smart wool tights, like real tights with footies on them and everything. I think I got them from REI. I just searched wool tights. And so these are smart wool tights. I bring two pairs. I wear these underneath my jeans. Here are my jeans over here. Quick tip, my jeans. I bring two pairs that are actually one size too big. That way I can fit the smart wool tights underneath them and they don't feel too tight. And then if it's really cold, I will actually wear like my workout leggings underneath my jeans. So Bring one or two pair of jeans that are too big. Socks. I bring three or four pairs of smart wool socks that go up about halfway to your calf. Um, I guess they're also called ski socks maybe. Um, so really thick, really warm. And then I'll bring three or four pairs of just regular, you know, kind of go up your calf socks. Workout socks and underwear, I always bring about a week's worth of these items because I wash them either in the hotel sink or I get the hotel to wash them for me. And then we have, I had these in my last packing video. These are my Athleta little sports bras that I bring um, that I wear as my bras instead. They take up a lot less space and are more packable than a regular bra. Um, I'll link those because they're still selling them. So pajamas, one pair, I'll wash it. And then going into workout items, sports bras, I bring four pairs. Pretty much I bring four pairs of everything for workout clothes because I wash it two or three times. So four sports bras, four um, workout pants. I got some awesome workout pants from Athleta that are for winter that have like a fleece lining. So they're really warm, but they're not bulky. I will link them. I love them and highly recommend them. So those are my pants. This is a down vest. I'll usually bring it when I'm going to Europe or somewhere cold because that way I'm not packing a million bulky workout tops. I just bring long sleeve tops and pair it with a vest. I'm checking the weather because right now it's going to be 30s and 40s. I don't think it's going to be cold enough to need the vest, so I might lose it. But either way, it's you know a down or prima loft vest, so it's easily packable. And then I'll bring four long sleeve shirts and I try and bring ones that, you know, I could actually wear this, you know, with jeans and then wear it the next day as my workout top. So I'm getting double use. Um, I also have two other long sleeve workout um, tops that are nice enough. Again, that if I want to wear them with jeans, I can, but I can also easily put them with the vest and have it be warm enough to work out in the cold. There's my jacket that I'll be wearing on the plane. All right, so my sweaters and tops. You see I have about eight to 10 sweaters. I usually like to th stick with solid colors, a lot of neutrals, black, white, gray, and then a few pops of colors here and there. Quick thing on your sweaters. My sweaters that I bring, first of all, you can tell they're not super bulky. I mean, these are really warm sweaters, but they're not those puffy, bulky sweaters. I also make sure that they are um, woven tightly. So for example, I took this sweater out so I could show you the example. I don't bring sweaters like this. So see how thinly woven that is? Like it's super cute and it's kind of warm, but I don't bring them with these trips to Europe because if I take my jacket off, that sweater will not keep me warm in the wind. So thickly woven, not too bulky, I will be packing a lot of my stuff, not just in compression cubes, but I'm using those airtight compression Ziploc baggies where you roll the air out. I will show you that in a second. All right, so this is what I'm wearing on the plane. My bulkiest sweater, leggings, and then my, or no, bulkiest scarf, bulkiest sweater, leggings. 
Jewelry. I usually bring a lot of jewelry options because since I don't bring a million different outfits, I can change my look by the jewelry that I'm wearing and how I'm doing my hair, etc. Also, Jake and I don't usually go to really fancy restaurants or anything. If we go somewhere nicer, I can pair, you know, something like this with a black sweater and do my hair and makeup nice and I'm acceptable to go to a decent restaurant. Um, so those are all my jewelry accessories. Moving on to shoes. I love these. I just bought these from J. Crew. I will link them. They are so warm, so comfortable. These are the bulkiest, so I'll wear them on the plane. These boots I bought purely for this top. So see how flimsy it is? So I can fold it multiple times. And I mean, it doesn't take up that much space. So they're not the highest quality, but they're flimsy and I can get them. Um, I can wear them with tall socks and it's good for keeping warm. Sperry's, again, nice warm boots. All of my shoes, I make sure that they have good rubber bottoms because you'll be in snow, you'll be in rain. You wanna make sure you're not slipping all over the place. And then my workout shoes, these are my APLs. I've um, noted in blog posts and other packing videos, I try and bring tennis shoes for working out and jogging that are decent enough looking that I can pair them with jeans and not look like a total dork. And so these fit the bill. So these are the ones I'm bringing. And then also side note, I do bring a couple of hand warmers. So I bring a couple of these because if I know we're going to be outside all day long going through the Christmas markets and whatnot, these are actually really nice. And sometimes I'll even put them in my boots and it's amazing. All right, so that's what I'm packing. We will go into how I'm packing it next. So everything you just saw, I have in my packing cubes. I just wanna show you real quickly how I do my packing cubes. These are all my socks, underwear, bras. There's no reason I just throw it in here, zip it up, smush it. No rhyme or reason between how I organize that. Here I have all my winter accessories. So my scarves, my hats, my headbands, all of that is in here. Again, really no rhyme or reason. I just smoosh it in here. And just so you see how these work. So I have this packing cube expanded right now. So all you do is you zip up the top. And then this is the compression part. So you zip the compression and you see how this just got smaller. Sometimes you have to put a lot of effort into it depending on how tight you packed it. But you see, it's not that hard. And I just saved a ton of space. So this is compacted. This is a little bit more organization to it. So these are all my workout clothes. I'll take off the top layer. What I do is I roll. So by rolling, you're not gonna wrinkle your stuff as badly. And then that way I can see everything I have in here. I can see what I have and pick it out, take it out without going through it all. So I've rolled everything I can on the first layer, pants, tops. And then the second layer, what I couldn't fit rolled in, I just fold it normally because I can't overstuff this because I won't be able to zip it shut if I do. And then I just kind of fill in the corners, regular folded style, not rolled up. So that's all my workout clothes. Then I have my pants. So again, I've rolled them, rolled my jeans, my leggings, what I had extra space for, I rolled up one of my sweaters. And then I took my thinner sweaters and just put them on top. So again, I'm gonna close it, compress it, good to go. So my sweaters, I use these handy Ziploc bag things where you compress the air by rolling. I put three or four sweaters in each bag to make it easy to roll. So I left one set that I wanted to show how I do this. You all know how these work. These are amazing. I'll link what I got them on Amazon. So I'll link the product on the video and then at the end as well. So you zip it close. So I put three sweaters in here, zipped it closed. I do a couple times just to make sure I really get it all the way zipped. I'm pinching this little plastic thing. Once you have it zipped closed, you can hear the air compressing. So I'm just kind of rolling, folding, letting it compress. You guys get the gist. 
I'm probably going to do it a little bit more to pack it down. But you've seen how much space this already saves. So I'm not bringing this, so take this out. So you can see everything I did in my video earlier, this is everything I'm putting in my bag. My shoes, my sweaters, everything. These items I'm putting in my backpack. But everything else you see here, this is what's going in the checked bag. Three weeks, all right here. Cool. So there is everything in the suitcase. Um, this is the one size above a carry-on, so the 25 inch. I never take bigger than that because um, this size I can still roll it and get it up and down stairs. So to see how I packed it, three Ziploc bags of sweaters. So those stacked on each other. My tripod. I think this is my workout clothes. Three pairs of shoes stacked on top of each other. And then three of the other um, compression bags. So everything fit. I can still carry it, no problem. Done and done.